Yeah, the medals just keep coming. If you've just woken up, we've got more success in the aquatic centre here in Tokyo overnight. And it's another Tom in Tokyo, Tom Dean from Maidenhead, who just beat his teammate Duncan Scott in the 200 metre freestyle. What a thrilling finish it was. Just a couple of tenths of a second between them, but they take gold and silver in that event. And that is the first time that has happened since 1908. Tom Dean from Maidenhead in Berkshire, trained down in Bath, and really a great story because he had COVID twice in the last 12 months. And he had six or seven weeks disrupted in an Olympic year in the run-up to these Olympics. That training, of course, is crucial to, as any athlete will tell you. And to have that kind of disruption, he was motivated by his coach who said, look, don't let this hold you back. You can come back from this. And boy, has he done that in the pool today, winning gold. And we saw, of course, Duncan Scott as well. Scotland's first medal by our calculations of Glaswegian and also trained in Ayrshire as well. So big celebrations up in Scotland today on the back of that silver medal in the pool on top of a gold medal. That hasn't happened since 1908 for Team GB. Uh, Tom, I understand, of course, the Olympics are all about overcoming adversity, but, you know, overcoming a puncture during the cycling section of the triathlon, that's quite something. It really was. Very exciting finish very strong women's triathlon team here for Great Britain. And it was Georgia Taylor-Brown from Manchester who really pushed hard and hit some kind of pothole, she's just been telling us, uh, that meant that her bike tyre was damaged. She could hear the hiss of the air coming out. She thought it might be her brakes, but then she was running on a flat. She had to make that decision. Did she stop and change the tyre and potentially cost herself a minute? Or did she push on on a flat tyre, effectively just running on the frame of that wheel? And she did the latter. She managed to get rounds on the bike into the run and she really attacked the run hard around the edge of Tokyo Bay here and ended up with a silver medal. And she's just been telling us here just what that means, all the hours of dedication, how she dreamed as a young girl of going to the Olympics. And now she's here and done it and won a silver medal. It's a great story. Uh, Tom, for those of us lucky enough to be able to head home after work and sit down in front of the telly and watch the rest of the Olympics, what more do I have to look forward to today? Well, I think the medal rush may well continue because Team GB are on fire at the moment, aren't they? And that kind of ripples through the camp. You can see the way that they've been celebrating the medals in the various sports that have come through. Of course, we had those great moments with Adam Peaty and Tom Daly yesterday and Tom Pidcock in the mountain biking. But today, watch out for Charlotte Dujardin. You'll remember her name from the dressage equestrian events, the horse dancing, as everyone calls it colloquially. And... She is going for her third successive gold medal today. She won gold in London, in Rio. Can she do it here in Tokyo? After all the disruption that all of these athletes have been through, there are some extraordinary stories coming to the fore of just how they've pushed through all those difficulties through lockdown, through COVID, and have come here and taken their moments and made all that heartache and pain along the way well worth it.